Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video, we are gonna be going shopping at my local drugstores for fungal acne safe products. Roll the footage. One of the main advantages to drugstore products is not only that they are usually affordable, but also that they are widely available. That means you don't have to wait to start treating your fungal acne until your online shopping cart ships to you. Instead, you can go out right now to your drugstore and find a whole lot of products that are gonna be suitable and you can get to treating that acne right now. So that being said, I did go into this shopping experience blind, not blind as in I didn't know what I was going to be able to purchase at these stores, but blind as in I didn't know what products they were actually going to have available in my stores. Make sure you guys stay tuned because you will get to see what I found at both Walgreens and CVS down the street from my house. And at the very least, do not click off this video until you have grabbed my free fungal acne shopping guides to Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Sephora. All you need to do to get those is look for the shopping carts in the bar below. Let's do this. Okay, so we're here at Walgreens. We're on our beauty aisle, and I'm gonna just quickly pick out a few options for you guys if you just need to build yourself a routine from scratch. So we're gonna start with cleansers. The first cleanser that you could get yourself would obviously be the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. Um, this one's $8.99 for the smaller bottle. And then the other cleanser that they have here, and they might have others at your particular store, but mine, these are the only two I've found so far, um, is obviously one I recommend all the time. It's the Vanacream Gentle Cleanser. Out of these two, this is probably my number one pick, but that would be a really good option. If you guys don't wear a lot of makeup, or even if you do, you can cleanse your skin with just like a makeup remover like micellar water. Just make sure you get everything off of your face. Um, I always use Albaline Moisturizing Cleanser to take my makeup off, but it is pretty oily and it leaves a little bit of a residue. So you'll have to really wipe your face off with a towel. You can also grab any of your Garnier Skin Active Micellar Waters. Um, this is the all-in-one, the pink lid is probably the classic version. I prefer this one, the blue lid, only because it's waterproof and it takes my makeup off, especially eye makeup, a lot easier than this one tends to. And then one more item if you guys are into it. Um, towelettes get a lot of bad, a bad rap with reason. Um, not very environmentally friendly, but in a pinch, these Yes to Carrots Clear Skin Acne Blemish Facial Wipes would be a good way to clean your face as well. And then one other cleanser that you could grab for yourself. Um, this is $14.99. It's a CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser with 4% benzoyl peroxide as an acne treatment. Now, benzoyl peroxide is not gonna be your best active for treating fungal acne, but it will work for other types of acne, bacterial acne on your face. Just be careful with this one because it could be really drying if you are going to layer another active with it. So if you're thinking of using salicylic acid, I wouldn't go this route where you have this active inside of a face wash. So now we're on to actual active treatments. Now, if you guys like to go that more natural route, because I know there's quite a few of you out there, and that's not me, but if it's you, Thayer's Witch Hazel or Dickinson's Witch Hazel is going to be a naturally occurring salicylic acid. So you could pick this up. This bottle is 16 fluid ounces for $6.29, so it's by far the cheaper option. Um, and then the Thayer's Facial Toner with Witch Hazel, um, this is the unscented, which is the one I would prefer, um, is $10.99. So both of those are good options. Other treatment wise, we have got, here we are. Um, something you can definitely treat with would be adipaline gel. So the different gel, um, this one's $15.99 here. And then they have a bigger tube of it for $30 um, where you do get more than like three times the amount essentially for twice the price. So depending on if you want that, <laughs> dropping everything. Another good option one that I actually probably would grab is the $6.79 bottle of Clean & Clear Essentials Deep Cleansing Toner. This is for sensitive skin and it is 0.5% salicylic acid treatment. So this is gonna work just like a regular toner, saturate a cotton pad with it, wipe it all over your face. This one is for sensitive skin. It's a little less percentage wise than this other one by Neutrogena, which is the clear pore oil eliminating astringent this is also salicylic acid but it is the max amount of salicylic acid you can actually put in a product for over the counter which is two percent 
Um, so this will be a lot tougher. Either one would work for you. Just think about your skin and how it responds to salicylic acid and drying type ingredients. If you are on the drier side, maybe try the sensitive skin. I do just wanna point out, I'm just trying to build something based on what I see at my store, but there are gonna be other options, obviously. There's even more here that I'm not gonna point out today. My goal is simply to build a four piece routine that you can have anywhere you go. And those four products include a cleanser, an active, a moisturizer, and an SPF. So we've done our active, now we are going to move on to our moisturizers. So this first one that I'm gonna pick up is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. You guys know this is one that I use. It is $8.29 here, um, so super good value. And then another one that could be a good option and actually will cover you moisture-wise and SPF-wise, but I would only use this as your AM moisturizer, is the CeraVe um, AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. This does have one of those caution ingredients, so it's not gonna be for everyone, but I personally have used the CeraVe products for a long time and they don't cause me any problems and I really enjoy them. All right, and we are to it. Um, this is my favorite stuff. You guys know I've been using this for a long time as well. It's a great facial moisturizer and body moisturizer, the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. They have various different sizes. Um, this stuff will really get you if you are on the super dry side, I highly recommend it. Now, of course, we need to protect all of this good work that we're doing to our skin, so we're gonna look at some SPF options. Sadly, they don't have the one that I want, even though they said they had it online. So first up, we have got the Sun Bum um, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's particularly in the lighter toned um, spray bottle. So only the spray can is gonna be safe in this. Nothing else from this range is, and only the one with 50, not the 30. So just make sure only that one. Um, and then these are two that I have used and talked about many times. The Banana Boat Simply Protect Baby, which is 50 plus SPF. And this one is the kids version of it. It's 50 plus SPF as well. Both of these are safe. These are better for your body. Um, if you need something to go on your face and you're gonna be wearing makeup, I personally do recommend this because it'll cover a lot lighter and your makeup will look better over it versus these. And this is the product that I'm actually gonna be picking up today. This is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I would be getting a tub or a tube of it, but they're out of it here. They only have this little two pack of baby tubes, which really works well for me because I'm gonna be using this as my everyday lip balm. And also um, I wanna be able to carry this in my purse because my hands get so dried out and cracked and just disgusting from working in the cosmetology industry all day, every day. So I really only did come to show you guys how to build a skincare routine, but I did just wanna say, if you find yourself needing to pick up some makeup at the same time, Maybelline is really gonna be one of your hero brands at the drugstore. Starting out the Maybelline Superstay um, Full Coverage Foundation. These are $11.99 at my store. I will say this color selection is a little sad, but hopefully if you're in a bigger city, you'll be able to get something a little nicer, um, you know, shade range. Another product that is really great for them, um, seriously, everything. Um, I use their Falsies mascara because I don't use fungal acne safe mascara, um, but I love these. These are the eyeshadow pots. Um, this one is in high roller. This is a color I always have on me because I love it. And then also my two favorite lip products of all time. Um, these are the matte ink crayons. Um, let's see, which is the color Lead the Way. This is the one that I always have in my purse um, as my everyday lipstick, but they have so many great options. I'm always drawn to this one. And then the Super Matte Ink, and these are also amazing. Um, sometimes you'll find them and they do various collections with these. And they also have a coffee collection of these, but I don't see it in my store. So if you did have those, those are also safe. And then last product, there is not a fungal acne safe blush at my particular Walgreens, and I don't actually know of one um, within the drugstore range that is, but we do always have the option for your bronzer, which is the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Bronzers. This one is in Ticket to Brazil. This one is Palm Beach Ready. Then they also have Wet Shady, beaches which is definitely the darkest and i think this one is matte as opposed to both of these are shimmery 
and then Sunset Strip Tees. This is the one I currently have and use the most. I use this one on my eyes to get to Brazil, but I use um, Sunset Strip Tees on my face the most, and it is also more of a matte formula. All right, guys, so we came to CVS to see what they had. I did have a quick look around before I go through this, and I did see that they have pretty much everything they had at Walgreens, plus so much more. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I would pick here. Um, most of them will be different, but a couple things might be the same just because they don't have wide varieties of certain items. So let's go to cleansers first. First up, this is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Purifying Foaming Cleanser. It is $15.79 here for this 13.52 fluid ounce bottle. So I think they have this at Target as well and it retails for 20, so it's a lot cheaper here actually, which is really odd. Um, this is really awesome. It has one fatty acid, so it could present problems for some people, but most of the time, if you're gonna have a one potentially off ingredient, I think your cleanser is the place to have it because it's not gonna stay on your face long-term, so it's not as big of a deal. The second cleanser I wanted to just quickly point out, we have to pan down here, um, is the Simple Foaming Cleanser. So two foaming cleansers here. Um, Simple, they do carry at CVS in my town, but a lot of the Walgreens actually don't carry this brand. Um, this will run you $8.49 here. And then while we're at it, I did just want to point out the um, Simple Micellar Cleansing Water is a safe makeup remover. If you're in the market for one, it is $10.79. So a little too pricey in my opinion as a micellar water. I'd prefer the Garnier, but I did just want to point out that it is an option. Treatment wise, we're going to go in line, even though I'd love to stay right there because everything else we need is there. Exfoliant wise, we've got three really solid options. Um, my beloved Stridex pads, I will say they're $7.49 here, so a little pricey, but at least they're in person. Um, maximum strength is what I use, but they also have the aloe here. And the main difference between these, which I thought this was, this is formulated with aloe, but also it's only 0.5% salicylic acid, whereas this is 2%, which is actually the maximum amount you can use for over-the-counter medications. Now, these are the same type of a gig. This is the Clearasil Stubborn Acne Control 5-in-1 Daily Pads, another salicylic acid. This is gonna be, I believe, also your 2% type of a product, so comparable to the sh extra strength version. 1049, these are each 729. Stridex, by the way, is way cheaper at Walmart and even on Amazon, so I'd go there first. Moisturizer wise, the main one that I wanted to point out here is the same as the one I pointed out at Walgreens, but it is the pink version, which is specifically formulated for dry skin. This is the one I personally prefer. I think it's a little stronger and I tend to like it better than the regular strength one. So if you're a little more on the dry side, I'd go for that option for sure. It is $8.99 here. So yet again, everything drugstores always gonna be an uptick in price, but a lot of the times you can't get it on sale. So that's kind of the toss up. As we know, we don't want to do all this good work without sunscreen, so let's go over and check out and see what they have. We have to do repeats on this one because they don't have anything else here. But the Sun Bum Spray SPF 50 is right here. This is a good one for under makeup. The Banana Boat Simply Protect Kids. This is more of a physical sunscreen, and I think this one, a chemical sunscreen. Physical sunscreen is naturally occurring, so it's your natural sunscreen. Um, chemical sunscreen is gonna be lab-created sunscreen, whereas like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are your physical, natural ingredients. I do wanna point out a little bit of makeup. Unfortunately, they do not carry NYX at this particular location. Every CVS in my personal town carries a different alternative, so they have Physicians Formula and Pixie here, but they always all have Maybelline. So let's go see what they have Maybelline-wise. They also have ELF, so all of these um, colorful primers are gonna be safe if you're looking for one. As usual, we've got our Maybelline ink crayons and matte ink liquid lips, as well as your eyeshadow pots. And then you have got 24 to 5 to 6 and 28 different shades. This is actually the best shade range of this I've seen besides Walmart um, in my town for the Super Stay. This is a good foundation if you're looking for one. 
the last but not least, if they have it. These are something I go back and forth on a lot because they're sometimes really good and sometimes not. Um, but they are the L'Oreal Color Riche Monos eyeshadows. And the quads are actually also safe, but they do have magnesium stearate or zinc stearate in them. So they might cause some people a little bit problems just because they're unverified, but I'd use them too. Um, this color is really speaking to me. It's called Madison Avenue and you can't tell by looking at it, but it's a really beautiful burgundy tone. I am going to actually go to a second CVS just because I want to point out a couple of NYX items that you might have in your local CVS. Thankfully at this CVS, they also carry NYX, which is so not common in my town for drugstores to have NYX. Um, if you are wanting that, you can come over here. They have got our beloved Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, um, the beloved Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. Seriously, I'll never use another concealer. This is my favorite. As well as Total Control Drop Foundation. And they also have some of the liquid um, lingerie lipsticks that'll be fungal acne safe on the other side. And if you need a primer, this first base primer is fungal acne safe. I did want to mention these really quick, the NYX Liquid Lip Lingerie line. I'm pretty sure the whole lingerie line is fungal acne safe, but do your research before you come just to verify that and I'll verify it in the video right now as well. That is a wrap on CVS. I'll see you guys at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed my drugstore shopping experience. Next time you guys are in your local drugstore and you find an amazing fungal acne safe product, be sure to go over to Instagram and post a photo using the hashtag BBB drugstore challenge. That way it might give other people a great idea of what is fungal acne safe at their local drugstores. As always, I'm going to link all of the products that I talked about in this video in the bar below, as well as some of my other favorite fungal acne safe products. Make sure you guys press subscribe while you're down there and also come say hi to me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar where I hang out every single day. And now if you will direct your attention to the left side of the screen, I have linked two videos. The first one is exactly how to treat fungal acne and the second is fungal acne safe moisturizers. For more beauty content from a fungal acne perspective, be sure to check out my blog brooksbeautybazaar.com and join me on my mission to prove that clear skin and amazing makeup can coexist.